Flanderization is the act of taking a single action or trait of a character within a work and exaggerating it more and more over time until it completely consumes the character. For some examples of what I mean by this, let's look to the place where this phrase originated. Ned Flanders from The Simpsons, who started out the series as the opposite of Homer, an annoying nice guy neighbour who also just happened to be a Christian. As the series progressed, being Christian eventually became his only character trait, and in the modern seasons he's a walking stereotype of annoying Christians. Well kids, now aren't you glad we don't believe in inoculations? I believe Jay from the modern seasons of Ninjago fits this glove perfectly and I will tell you why now. So I feel as if in the past few years of Ninjago seasons, the character of Jay has become very infantilized. It feels like around season 11-ish, aspects of Jay's character like his childish side or being a bit of a doofus were just dialed up to a thousand. As of recently, it feels like Ninjago's producers have tried to lean way more into the idea of Jay being cute and childish. Now, what I really liked about Jay is he felt like a normal, collected grown-up who could also be eccentric and childish. He could be loud and stupid, but that didn't define his entire personality. Now, I want to clarify, I'm not saying Jay should be super stoic, serious, or smart. That is not and will never be Jay, unless things get really, really, really bad, I guess. I also want to clarify now that the takeaway of this video shouldn't be Wild Brain Ninjago is too childish, because that in of itself is a take I disagree with for multiple reasons. What I'm saying is in the recent seasons, much like characters like Spongebob, that balance has completely fell out of whack, and now Jay just feels like a child. Not an adult with the spirit of a child, but an actual kid. And this is pretty much in every sense I could say this, such as the voice acting for one, which over the years has gotten much... What does that mean? He's just making a joke, Zane. Maybe a new perspective might help. Addicts, definitely near the top of the list of things I'm afraid of. Much. Oh, oh, I know, I've got the perfect name. The Fast Chickens. Lloyd, I'm scared. Yeah, but if you hold every little thing against a person, you won't make any friends at all. Much. <gasps> My mom used to call me that. I was her precious little gift. More childish. But not only has the voice acting become more childish over the years, his characterization in general has become more childish. Where there was a nice balance of being grown up and still being a child at heart, there is now just, I don't know what to say, a kid. Hell, Jay's overly childish characterization in the modern seasons has gotten to the point where he'll randomly pee himself during episodes. I'm definitely gonna need to wash my boxer shorts again. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I want to reiterate, I have no problem with the comedic tone of the Wild Brain seasons. I have no problem with the potty humour in Ninjago as a whole. I think it's hilarious when Darif pees himself in season 9 because he's a man-child loser and it's totally in his character to do that. What I'm saying is that going from being a child at heart who has the potential to be mature, to being a borderline man-child who will randomly soil his undies, and on top of that all of a sudden, even after all of the stuff that happens in Skybound has next to no emotional maturity for some reason, Case in point, Jay being completely oblivious to Nia's very obvious concerns regarding his treatment of her in Queen of the Months is not a sudden out of nowhere character shift that I particularly agree with or like. I decided to make a post on my YouTube community tab asking what you lovely people think of Jay. I also very briefly explained my issues with the character in the recent seasons. And yeah, the responses to this post were actually pretty validating. I don't seem to be alone in this concern. Although I also want to add that not everyone agrees with me on this. There were multiple replies to that community post that said that they were either fine with Jay in the modern seasons or even preferred him. And to those people, power to you for liking something I don't. I'd love to know in the comments why you think that. Although, things aren't all gloomy for the character of Jay. Ignoring some moments, I think most of what they did with Jay's character in Seabound was excellent. I think minus the overly squeaky and childish voice acting, Jay was handled and written really well in that season. I really love how, unlike in other seasons, they actually show how much Jay cares about Nia and how far he's willing to go to keep her safe. I also really enjoy how mature the character was at points in Seabound. A nice balance of comedy and maturity. Exactly what I'm looking for from Jay. I also don't want to be all doom and gloom about Jay in the other Wild Brain installments either. I think Jay has some really funny moments in these seasons, and when his comedy lands, it lands really well. And also, if you can look past the really childish and squeaky voice acting, he has some pretty good scenes when he's allowed time to breathe. Although up until Seabound, that didn't happen much sadly. However, I really do think Season 14 Seabound has set Jay on the right path. While not being perfect by any means and having some really, really sore spots in regards to Jay's character, all in all, Seabound was a pretty big improvement over Jay's characterization in prior installments. Especially given the note that the showrunners left Jay on at the end of this season and what we know about the next season, this might be the chance to redeem Jay's characterization for me. Seabound isn't perfect in regards to Jay's characterization and leaves a lot of room for improvement, but I think we're getting there. Just make that voice less childlike, please. What do you all think though? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Be sure to let me know and why in the comments down below. If you liked this video or found it interesting, be sure to like it and share it with a friend. 
If you want to see more Ninjago videos like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know as soon as they come out. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.